What's up guys, I'm KBJ and today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the 451 plus memory. In this one I have 2 gigs of RAM right now, but I'm going to replace it with this 16 gigs of RAM so I'll have more memory so it can have better performance with streaming videos and I can run more on the VMs and overall it should just perform better. So let's get to this. Now on the back of the device you see it has multiple screws so I'm going to begin by taking these screws off. It's also important to note that you should make sure you discharge yourself of any static electricity because you can definitely mess up electronics with a static charge. I don't have the best screwdriver right now. All right, got those four screws off. So now I'm gonna take out the drive base. If you have hard drives in yours, make sure you label them and put them back in the correct order to help ensure that you don't have any issues when you're putting them back in. So the way this works is there's a lock pad on the bottom and what you're going to do is slide the opening towards the open padlock. So you can see it maybe right there. See that padlock? So we're gonna slide that way. Just did that. And then this just basically wiggles off. So we got that out of the way. Now this is what we see. Now the memory chip is right in there and there's another slot right there for another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this piece so I can get to the memory. There's four screws, one there and one there, then the same on this side, one there and one there. It's important to note that these screws that held this caddy in place are smaller than the screws that held the outside case in place. Now there are two more screws you need to take off. These two right here. So I'm going to do those real quick. All right, so I've got this off. Now it's important to note that you see there's a card right here that plugs into the actual board right here. So you want to be really careful after you get those last two screws off and you're lifting it up. Just gently lift it off. Now here's the two memory places again. The two memory slots. One right here and one empty one right there. So I'm going to pop off this one. So you can see after I move the tabs to the side, this stick popped up. This is the two gig chip that I'm taking away. Now installing memory is really easy. The key is, I would say don't drop it, don't mess it up. But it can really only fit in one way. You just wanna make sure that you put it all the way in and seat it properly. Cause there's gonna be a little tab right there. See that little tab right there that will only let you install the memory one way. Like I can't do it this way because of that tab. So that tab has to line up right there with that slot. 
So I'm just gonna slide it all the way down. See how I put it all the way down? Put it all the way down in there as far as I could. Then you just push down and it pops right in. And those clips right there on the side are gonna grab the memory. These two clips on the outside. So that's one. And this one's gonna be a little more trickier because this metal thing is in the way, but we can still get it done. We just gotta work under it. Make sure you got the memory the right way. Get it all the way down in there. Push it down, lock it in. So here we are with both eight gigabyte chips installed. So now we have 16 gigs of total RAM. The device should automatically see the memory by itself. And I'll put the command you can run if you really want to. You can SSH to the device and see that it's using all the memory. So I'm gonna put this back on. I'm gonna make sure everything's lined up with this card. Same, same thing as the memory. See there's a little gap in there. Right here on that board. Where it can only go one way. To work it back in make sure it's seated properly then put it back together again using the small screws for the inside and the bigger screws for the outside case okay so I've got all six screws back on Time to put the case back on. So I just basically came down from the top to line it back up to the unlock sign. And now I'm gonna slide it back over to lock it up, just like so. So we're locked up. Time to put the back screws back on. All right guys, so I showed you how to upgrade your memory. If you got one that had two gigabytes, you could upgrade it to eight or 16. I personally just went from two to 16 gigs of RAM, or if you have eight gigabytes and you want to upgrade to 16, you can do the same thing. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions. I'll also have links down below to everything I'm using to build up this NAS where I'll have 24 terabytes of storage so I can save all my pictures and videos of my family and the videos that I make with Kong Boys on their Kong Boys Toys channel. Please use those links down below to purchase the NAS or if you decide to upgrade the memory or any of the hard drives that I'm using because it helps me out. I get a few pennies on the dollar but that goes a long way because it takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. So thank you very much and have a great day.